Well, the whole world has been horrified by all the migrants who are risking everything to get to Europe and dying at sea. It spurred an emergency summit of European leaders today. They pledged to increase search and rescue operations in the Mediterranean and military force to disrupt the human traffickers. But while they make plans, the dead are being buried. And as Stuart Greer reports, boatloads of migrants keep coming. They died trying to get to Europe with hopes for a better life. 24 coffins, men, women, and children. The only bodies recovered from a tragedy that claimed more than 800 lives. The victims were remembered at an interfaith service in Malta. Among the mourners, dozens of migrants who already made the perilous journey. We come here, our brother and sister dying. It's, it's hard for us, you know. EU leaders also remembered the victims, holding a minute of silence ahead of emergency talks. As part of a 10-point plan, they agreed to ramp up search and rescue operations in the Mediterranean. And they will hunt down human trafficking vessels and destroy them before they can be used to ship migrants. Now, of course, saving lives means rescuing these poor people, but it also means smashing the gangs and stabilizing the region. More than 1,700 people have drowned since January, and protesters outside the summit say the new measures don't go far enough. Even with extra funding, the bolstered search and rescue mission will still be smaller than last year's. All those deaths in the Mediterranean cannot be accepted anymore. It's a shame for Europe. As EU leaders talked, the boats kept on coming, the Italian Coast Guard picking up another 200 refugees from Libya. More than 35,000 people have crossed from Africa into Europe so far this year. They end up in fenced-off camps like this. The EU announced it will only take in 5,000 new migrants. Most, like 23-year-old Silla Zelia from the Ivory Coast, are refused asylum. It's not easy. I'm stuck here, she says. I can't leave when I want. Even with her future in doubt, Silla is among the lucky ones. Thousands have died doing what she did. Europe's leaders hope to prevent more scenes like this, but that will be difficult with so many ready to risk their lives. Stuart Greer, Global News, London.